Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. According to information disclosed through SA Defense's X account, the Argentine army has recently bolstered its armored capabilities by introducing the TAM 2C, an upgraded version of the Tanque Argentino Mediano, TAM. Originally conceived and operated by Argentina, this medium tank has undergone modernization to meet present-day battlefield demands. As per the Military Balance 2023 report, Argentina's arsenal comprises 225 units of the TAM tank. The Tanque Argentino Mediano, TAM, stands as a significant achievement in Argentine military engineering, reflecting a fusion of international collaboration and unique national requirements. Originating in the 1970s, the TAM project emerged as Argentina's answer to the necessity for a contemporary armored vehicle capable of effectively traversing the country's diverse terrain, ranging from the rugged Andes Mountains to the expansive Pampas grasslands. The development of the TAM stemmed from the limitations faced by Argentina's existing armored fleet, primarily composed of older models ill-equipped to handle the geographic and operational challenges of the region. In pursuit of a modernized solution, Argentina partnered with Germany's Tyson Henschel, now part of Rheinmetall AG, leveraging the German firm's proficiency in tank design and engineering. This collaboration aimed to produce a medium tank that harmonized mobility, firepower, and protection, tailored to Argentina's specific operational environments. The resultant vehicle emerged as a medium tank incorporating key design elements from German engineering, notably drawing from the Martyr Infantry Fighting Vehicle, which influenced the TAM's mobility and mechanical components. Armed with a 105mm main gun capable of firing a range of NATO standard ammunition, the TAM proved formidable on the battlefield. Its power plant, the MTU MB833 Ka 500 diesel engine, struck a balance between power and fuel efficiency, enabling speeds of up to 75 km per hour with a range of approximately 500 km, ensuring operational adaptability and strategic mobility across vast distances. Protection constituted another crucial aspect of the TAM, featuring composite armor and subsequent upgrades, including additional armor packages and modern electronic warfare systems, to augment its survivability in contemporary combat scenarios. However, despite its advancements, the TAM encountered challenges such as budgetary constraints and evolving military priorities, impacting its production and upgrade cycles. That's all for now, see you later.